Roman from Russia sent me a lovely email saying, Richo, I make your ricotta gnocchi all the time. What's another great way of using it? Well, Roman, this is a great little recipe that I've put together. It's called my fried gnocchi with cabanossi sausage, garlic and chilli, and it is delicious. It starts with a hot pan, and in that hot pan, you've got to add some extra virgin olive oil. You want a fair bit of olive oil in the pan because that's what fries the gnocchi and the cabanossi and makes it nice and crispy. The ricotta gnocchi is already made, blanched and cooled down. Just pop that straight in the pan. Now at this stage here, you probably want to start stirring it around, but don't. Let it sit there. You need to allow it to get a crust on the outside and make it nice and golden. Now the cabanossi is really easy to use. If you want, you can peel the skin off, but I like the colour of it. Nice bit of red cabanossi skin all the way through the gnocchi. It looks fantastic. And I've sliced it on an angle here, just like the gnocchi into the pan it goes. And at this stage, I'll turn it up so it's nice and hot. And I'll just give it a bit of a stir around so you can see what frying the gnocchi does. Toss it around like that, and you can see that gorgeous colour. Now, as the gnocchi and the cabanossi fry in the pan together, they'll both get an even colour and will look nice and golden. The garlic, you've got to have garlic with this dish. And I like to slice it nice and chunky because when you eat into it, you want a nice big crunchy bit of garlic. Garlic is beautiful, I love using a lot of it, but if you put in crushed garlic, it'll burn straight away, and that's not what you want. Now, chili is optional, but I love the heat. So I just chop the chili all the way through here like this. Nice and chunky is the way you want to do it. You can just throw it into the pan. It all starts to color up beautifully. Now, these are red onions that have been sliced nice and thin. Into the pan they go, just like that. A sprinkle of salt over the top of it, and some pepper. Good twist of pepper like that. This will take a couple of minutes to fry up and it'll all become nice and golden brown and it'll start to cook down nice and gently. By the time that's all cooked down and nice and golden, I'll have some herbs chopped, I'll be ready with the cheese and the butter will be ready to go in. This is smelling gorgeous already. Look at the colour, the caramelised onions, the gnocchi, the cabanossi sausage, it's all just right. Now to finish it off, I like to add a little bit of butter. Butter is what makes everything taste delicious. And butter, gnocchi and cabanossi together is fantastic. Now soften this butter up a little bit so it will melt nice and quickly. It almost becomes the sauce that goes through it. And of course herbs, you can't have a great pasta dish without fresh herbs. Chives, parsley and basil into the pan. A little bit of a toss around like that and you can see it all coming together. You can hear the basil and the herbs popping. It looks great, lots of great colours in there and an amazing flavour. Now with the tongs, I'll take it out of the pan here and pop it onto the plate. But fried gnocchi, I always serve on a flat plate. It looks fantastic. Turn the gas off, there's a little bit more there for later on. Now I like to put a little bit of Danish feta over the top of it. The saltiness of the Danish feta works so well with this dish. And of course, you've got to have Parmesan cheese. I know it's a little bit over the top, but believe me, a little bit of Parmesan cheese over the top will make this even more delicious. Lots of crunch, lots of fresh herbs, lots of heat, and lots of cheese to balance it all together. Now a little bit of cabanossi sausage, a little bit of gnocchi on the fork. Mm, that is really hot but really, really tasty. The crunch to it, the heat, the chilli in there as well. That is a fantastic dish. Roman, this is the dish for you.